Welcome viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Large upon yourself, big upon yourself. So in this video, I'm going to address the topic of drywall and how you can utilize drywalls when you're doing your residential building or when you're doing your dream home, right? So of recent, I have had a couple of discussion where this topic is concerned. So some people who are building their dream home is of the opinion that they can replace their internal partition walls, their concrete masonry wall or your typical block and steel wall with dry walls to do their partition. And I have to caution them as an engineer that it doesn't work like that. You see, viewers and subscribers, in America, they use a lot of drywalls for their partition, right? But their building is mainly of lightweight construction, wood construction, right? So they use their substructure, their substructure is built of concrete masonry units, but their superstructure is predominantly built built of wood, especially when it comes to residential building, okay? So in our case, in Jamaica, we use black and steel, right? We we'll use black and steel mainly to erect or to construct our buildings or when we are building our dream home. So you have to realize that if you use drywall as partition wall in your building especially when you're going to have a suspended slab or you're going to put a slab roof over the building drywall is not recommended right because you need those block and steel wall to break the span and also to help carry the weight of the slab so a lot of people don't realize that when you when you have expansive dimensions in your building like your master bedroom or your living bed your living room when they're of the dimension of in excess of 20 feet in either direction when you put that concrete roof slab over that structure because of the span that concrete slab is going to have a lot of deflection just recently i have did i have done a calculation for the deflection of a garage the slab that was going over a garage now the garage the spans of the garage was 22 feet by 22 feet and when I did the calculation, when I did the deflection calculation, I'm getting a deflection of six inches. Now, when you're getting a deflection of six inches, that's a massive deflection, right? You would want to have your deflection not more than one inch. So it can be one inch or less, right? If you're getting your deflection to be over one inch, then your slab is going to be structurally compromised. You might put it up and you might not see anything happen, but when you get an earthquake of a certain magnitude, then that slab is going to be tested. Or if you put a load on that slab and the slab is not designed to carry that load because of the span, that slab have the potential of collapsing because the spans are too wide and the deflection is going to be big right so the in the case of drywalls yes you can use drywall so if you are putting in your closets or little spaces in little little spaces like linen closets or your closet you can use your drywall but it cannot be that you're going to build a structure, right? 
and the perimeter wall is of concrete masonry unit, block and steel, and all the internal wall is partition wall, that is going to cause problems if you're going to put a reinforced concrete slab over that first that that, that, that ground floor. On the upper floor, the case might be a little bit different because if you're going to put a timber roof over the first floor, then you can use your drywalls on the upper floor to do most of your partition. But I still recommend to have some form of structural walls on the first floor or on the upper floor because you have to remember if you're going to put a timber roof over this the second floor you have to have certain structural wall for you to jack the roof when your roof is being constructed you want walls that they, you can put up your vertical 2x4 or your 2x6 to anchor the roof before you before you, you finish construct the roof so you need structural walls to jack the roof so not in all cases where we see i see people do it i see people put up dry walls you know what i mean and used for partition in jamaica but it is done in a certain type of way so don't let it be that you know you have this in the back of your 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 brain or, or your thinking is that you can use dry walls throughout the the, the ground floor when you're going to put a slab for your partition wall i know when you use dry walls the your cost of construction is going to be less because those dry walls they are not coming from foundation so you do not have to excav excavate a footing for those dry walls those dry wall is going to be on the surface of the the ground floor slab or on the surface of the suspend this slab to form the upper floor so yes it costs less but you have to know how to go about it right so you need those partition walls especially on your ground floor to be structural walls to be load bearing walls so it can break the spans especially when you have massive living room or, or kitchen or your master bedroom you need those load bearing walls to break the span and to help carry the weight of the slab right but for your non load bearing walls yes you can use your drywall and if you're building your dream home and you have this idea of using drywall your architect or your engineer is supposed to guide you where this subject is concerned so it's not simple just putting your partition wall as dry as, as drywall and, and and everything is fine no you're building a concrete structure now if you're doing a frame building right there's two type of buildings they are load bearing structure and they are frame structure so if you're building a frame structure which is consists of column and beams those column and beams are carrying most of the loads like even all of the loads okay the slab is going to transfer the loads to the beam the beam transfer the loads to the column the column transfer the loads to the footing and the footing transfer the loads to the ground and spread it evenly and ensure that the foundation is not overstressed so in your frame building you can do that you can put up your drywalls as partition walls right and that will cause no problem because the column and beam is there to carry the weight of the slab or to carry the weight of the building and distribute the load down to the foundation therefore while i'm here to 
give you my opinion it remains my opinion another person uh, another engineer or another architect might have a different opinion but from where I sit and based on how I analyze how structures behave or building behave I know that it is necessary to have load-bearing walls especially when you're going to have a suspended slab or a slab roof so where you're going to do lightweight construction or a frame structure yes you can use your partition wall and frame structure is usually utilized when you're doing commercial construction or probably high-rise building right but for your typical residential home your single floor or your two floor home you have to be careful how you utilize drywall right so this is my opinion right and based on my calculations and how i interpret or analyze all these things behave that is my conclusion so as i often mention to people to people or persons from time to time that a structure is not totally artwork okay it is mathematics and science you have to use mathematics and science as an engineer to determine the structural integrity of your structure so i've said this numerous times that an architect utilizes his or her artistic skills while an engineer use science and mathematics to design right some architect if they are well experienced they can guide you where this is concerned all right so that is my two cents on this topic so as usual if you like the video don't forget to share the video subscribe and leave a comment so this video if you if you're watching this video and you have any question i'll be more than happy to answer your questions because when you ask me questions it alert me to learn new things or to research new things and then I grow where knowledge is concerned and you viewers and subscribers grow as well so take these things into consideration when you're building your dream home in Jamaica enough respect we we'll talk to you again all right Bonus.